Hi, this is Mike Regan with Transact's Two Minute Warning for the week of November 25th. In this week's Two Minute Warning, we're focused on IMO 2020, our Breaking Down the Silos webinar, and of course, our Thanksgiving wishes. In this week's Two Minute Warning, we are literally going to change modes. For the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about what's going on in the LTL area, and some of you, we really appreciate the comments as you've shared that the information we've provided will prove invaluable to you as you conduct your sourcing events with your LTL carriers in the future. Now we're focused on what's happening with the ocean carriers as they adopt and respond to the IMO 2020 low sulfur emitting fuel mandate that becomes effective on January 1st. Now the reason why this is important to you is because if the experts are right, the ocean carriers are going to see a significant increase in the cost of their fuel. They will now have to blend their bunker stock with the diesel fuel and the experts are saying it could go up by as much as 60 to 70 percent. Now this could mean an increase in the cost for you to move containers and we're already seeing some instances where the ocean carriers are charging as much as two to three hundred dollars more to get those containers from China to the United States. Now one alternative that shippers are looking at is having those containers shipped on vessels which are being slow steamed. Under that scenario the ocean carriers slow the ship down so it saves on the consumption of fuel. The problem with that is it takes seven to ten days longer for you to get your container and that could impact your inventory sourcing strategies. Now we have a great article about IMO 2020 over at Transact.com and if you want more information about how slow steaming and some other issues could affect your movement of containers, give me a call so I can put you in touch with our friends over at Supply Chain Edge. They are experts in the field and they've been doing a great job of sharing some really great information with shippers about how they can adjust their ocean strategies to save money. Now on December 5th, we're also going to be hosting another Breaking Down the Silo webinar with our friends from CSCMP and NASTRAC. The first webinar where we hit it out of the park was focused on what's happening with the logistics and the finance teams. Here we're focused on what's happening with the logistics and the procurement team. You can simply click on the link or go over to CSCMP and NASTRAC to sign up. Now, as we close out this particular two-minute warning, we want to wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving. Some of you have reminded me of a little story I shared in a previous Thanksgiving letter where I was at a parent-teacher conference and one of my kids, fourth grade teachers, I asked them, the school was all decorated, I asked them, who are we giving thanks to? I got a politically correct answer about how we were just thankful to survive the winter, and I wanted a reminder. Abraham Lincoln, when he issued the Thanksgiving Proclamation in 1863, declared that we would come together as a nation to give thanks to God for his bounties and his blessings. Fortunately, we're thankful that those blessings continue to this day. So it's with that thought in mind that we want to wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving from your friends here at Transact. Now with each and every two minute warning, we also want to remind you we're on your team, we're here to help, and we're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time.